Okay, today we're gonna do a resto castle gate. We're gonna do this real fast. It's not too hard, so let's just get to it. So we're gonna go six across with this gate. We're gonna stack two pistons up like this, six blocks across. Then we're gonna put whatever block you're using to build on top. And then second block here. And that will essentially be your floor. And then another block going into that bottom piston. In between those, we're gonna place a resto torch. And then going into that block, a redstone repeater. So it should look just like this. Then we're going to go redstone into each one of these repeaters. Go out to the second repeater. And then another piece of redstone there. With a block. With a redstone torch there. And it will retract once, but then we want it to be all the way down. So let's just do that real quick. Now we're going to put in our button. So we go one block out to the side one out and then that's where your button will go so we're gonna put in the redstone here block below piece of redstone block below that with the repeater and then these three here so now we go to an observer block we want the redstone signal to be facing in towards this block here with a repeater going in set to four tick delay and then a piece or a uh, sticky piston and a redstone or an observer with the redstone signal coming out so these redstone these two observers will basically be staring at each other once this pis piston extends now we put our redstone repeater there set this to a three tick delay and then a piece of redstone and this is a working system here so this should go up and down now we're just going to mimic the same thing on the other side with the button. So we'll do that. Redstone piece below. Block here. Repeater. And then connect this system up here. This piece of the redstone up here. And this should work just the same. Up and down. Alright, so this is all done. Now let's go ahead with the top portion. So we're going to come out to this side and we're going to go up 11 blocks. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we're going to go across. And just bring this up. Then we're going to go to a regular piston. And do the same thing we did on the bottom. Put two pistons up here. And then a uh, block going across the top pistons and a block going below the second layer of pistons. Then we're going to put a redstone torch on the second row of blocks and take that signal all the way across. Now we're going to bring the more torches in, carry the signal up from the bottom. and we're going to get our sticky piston again so we're going to put the piston, sticky piston in the ground right below this repeater and no that's actually wrong one more up and then a block here bring the redstone down here with a repeater coming out of this block and then a piston there with a redstone block attached to it and then bring that signal all the way there so this is a working system minus the fence now I'll put the fence in real quick and I'll be right back for some reason this is always what takes me the longest okay so the fence is in the pistons are in kind of a funky position up here so I just give a one block gap but anyways we press this button and everything should be working so this will go down the piston spits that block out, gives the signal up, grabs a block, pulls it back, and then it lets this go up. So yeah, that's that. All of this can be covered underground, so none of the ugly redstone will have to be showing. And you can open and close it from both sides. So that's always cool. There we go. Now you can put a lock on this on one side or the other. But it can only be locked closed, which I guess would be, would be what you want to do anyways. 
but when this is up you press this put a lever there and press the lever and then it will lock it closed so the buttons will no longer work and then just to release that to get it to open again and that put it oh yeah make sure that lever's off or it's gonna do that <laughs> So, yeah, the lever will work fine. Just make sure if you lock it with the lever, it's in a down position. And then just hit that lever to turn it back on. What happened was I accidentally clicked it twice a little too quick. Anyway, everything like that works. So, yeah, really easy system. Um, we have this repeater on a four tick delay this repeater here on a three tick delay and then all the other ones are just set normally not too bad not too hard not too recess heavy resource heavy so yeah that's that man have fun have a good one